Today we go back in time to 2002. What's up guys, we're back with another old school Yu-Gi-Oh opening, but it's not just an old school Yu-Gi-Oh opening, we are also opening their reprint counterparts. So we have not only Magic Ruler packs, but also the Spell Ruler reprints and uh, many other reprints and other old packs. And we're going to be pitting them against each other, old versus reprint to see which will be better in this video. But before we do that, I have a giveaway. I'll be giving away some old school cards. We have a Metal Raiders Time Wizard. We have a Marauding Captain from Legacy of Darkness and a Thousand Eyes Restrict First Edition from Pharaoh's Servant. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications and let me know what you think will win. Will it be old school? Will the reprints pull it out this time? They do have these bonus cards. Hey, they could have a ghost shirt. I'm just saying it could happen. Yo, I'm back. But Ruxin, where are you back from? If you guys don't know, I streamed on Whatnot back in 2021 and I've made my return to Whatnot. If you guys don't know what Whatnot is, Whatnot is a streaming platform where you can sell stuff live. And if you're a viewer on Whatnot, you can show up to the live stream, watch the stuff get open, watch stuff get sold. It's really fun to see the auction prices and people going back and forth trying to get different stuff. And you might think, I don't really want to spend any money right now. Well, that's where I come in. Use my link down below and you'll get $15 for free when you sign up for whatnot. It doesn't have to be on my stream. It could be on Team Samurai stream. It could be on Simply Unlucky stream. It can be completely unrelated to Yu-Gi-Oh because this isn't just a TCG platform. There's also a lot of other cool stuff like shoes and other collectibles like that that are being sold on whatnot. And I will be streaming live Thursday, March 30th at 5 p.m. Central. We'll be selling stuff like epic Yu-Gi-Oh singles and old school Yu-Gi-Oh packs. And I will be giving away over $500 worth of Yu-Gi-Oh cards in this stream. So you guys want to make sure you're there. And some of these give giveaways will not require a purchase at all. You can simply be viewing the stream and win. And don't forget to use that link down below to get that $15 off when you come to the stream so you can save yourself some money. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right, so let's start it off with the reprint side because, you know, they're a little bit less anticipated. They are the reprints. They're not as exciting as the old school 2002 packs. There's also some packs from the old school that are not from 2002, just keep that in mind. But there are a lot of magic rulers today. What else do we have? Oh, we got a legendary six Sam. What is it? The, it's the uh, Shanae. Okay, we've got a Weather Painter Rain. And then Otelokinetic Shocker from the Duel's Genesis is not a new card. It's a pretty old one. Uh, Mecha Bunny, Mind Protector, and Medium Piece Golem. And then we, of course, have our Dark Crisis pack. But we got to open those up just in case there is that Galaxy Eyes Photon Unlimited Ghost Rare like I got back in 2018. Probably not going to happen again. I was probably a once in my lifetime kind of thing. But I still hold out hope that it'll happen again. Dark Crisis. Let's see. Can they potentially beat the old school packs? It's possible because reprints, you know, less likely to have had been tampered with, weighed, anything like that. Keldo. Gonna play a Shizu. Just kidding. That's the, the old version. DD Trainer. We have Rod of Silence Chaist. That's a Ruxin Special with Gorg. The Incandescent Orde Ordeal. The Moral Strength. Wait, Moral Boost. I was gonna say Strength. I don't know why. Legendary Flame Lord. And Despair from the Dark. Just starting it off with a rare. No big deal, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna be strum stumbling all over the place like I do at the beginning of videos. Just get used to it, guys. It's just a normal thing around here on Ruxin 34. All right. First old pack, we have Cyberdark Impact. We're like, wait, this isn't a 2002 pack. It is not. It's a 2006 pack, I believe. But inside, we could pull some pretty amazing ultimate rares. Vanity's Fiend, Vanity's Ruler. I'm assuming that these are retail. I actually don't know that. Didn't double check the code, but it's almost always retail when you open this stuff. So I'm going to assume that's what it is. Barrier Statue of the Torrent. We have Linear Accelerator Cannon. The Abaki, a very, very creepy looking dude. Just check him out. Very creepy. We have Chain Detonation for those those Chain players, and no, don't do it. Straight Asmodee, we have Instant Fusion, a great card. I mean, this is the original print of that card. The Man Beast of Ares, Accumulated Fortune. Will we get a foil in this pack? Oh, an Ultra Rare Cyber Ogre, too. We will get a foil. Ultra Rares are 1 in 24 packs, so getting an Ultra Rare is actually pretty rare in these old school packs versus now they're like 1 in 4, 1 in 6, whatever it is. So, uh, yeah, that's that's a nice pull for the old school. All right, next up, Dark Crisis. We have a few Dark Crisis, and then we get into a, some variety. We have like Pharaoh Servant and stuff like that as well in the old school. So we have a Power Wall. It's an Ultra Rare Clear Effect. This is obviously from Dual Saga, the Ultra Rare technology that they, <laughs> they uh, branded it as, and it wasn't really that good we have backup soldier from uh, what is that a starter deck back in the day bamboo scraps and goddamn wrong that is from uh what is that oh what's it called the one with odin it's called a uh, storm of ragnarok yeah that's what that's from i remember that one specifically let's do a little swappy swap let's get the exodia neck cross the skill drain rare let's go checkmate really eternal rest maju garzette the agita playing a little ishizu spell reproduction the dark scorpion gorg the strong incandescent ordeal the wicked breaking flamberg bow and a morale boost so Okay, reprints, not doing so hot, and your extra cards aren't doing so much for you either, so old school's looking good. All right, next up, we have a Magic Ruler original print pack. Yeah, this is, I mean, you can check out the logo right there. Old school 2002 pack, so 
yeah, when I said 2002, I wasn't lying, guys, okay? It is 2002, over 20 years at this point. We are past 20 years, which is insane. That means we're getting old. Just keep that in mind. If you guys remember these back in the day, you're officially old. Looks like some of the cards are dinged up on here. We have Mechanical Snail, not good centering there. Slot Machine, where's his little brother? There he is, little brother. We have Labyrinth Wall, a little ding there, okay? Malevolent Nuzla, Ancient One of the Deep Forest, Fire Kraken. We have the Dark Witch, very nice. And we have a Mangarayu Ran. So just a regular rare out of that Magic Ruler pack. That's okay. We have more cool stuff coming up. We also have more Magic Rulers. So hopefully the next ones will be better. Dark Crisis, we have another one of these. So we're we're gonna start off hot with Dark Crisis, see if we can pull anything out of there. Then we'll pull into some other reprint packs. So we have a Rainbow Refraction and emergency, Emerging Emergency Rescue Rabbit. Okay, very cool. Lucky Punch, Damage Mage. Oh, Fairy Tale Rella, and that is about it. Nothing too crazy in those. But we do have our Dark Crisis pack, which is 0 for 2 so far. So let's see if Dark Crisis can turn it around and pull something good. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's go, reprints. Can you pull something? If you're rooting for the reprints, let me know in the comments. Dice reroll. Twin Swords, you got the Spell Reproduction, the Shinado's Ark, Archfiend's Oath, Shooting Star Burrow, Seal, Seal. We got the Fear of From the Dark, and we have a Zodi Necross. Come on. Ooh, a Mudora. So there is a foil there, a fairy type. Type, this is not Pokemon, but I guess technically it's called type, but fairy type just sounds like Pokemon, okay? Not bad, we'll take a foil. That is the first one from the old school packs. Now let's try a first edition of Force of the Breaker from the old pack. Uh, did I say old school? I meant reprint packs, because these are the old school packs. They're old school reprint packs, I guess, on the other side. Basically everything's old school, which is why I know you guys are gonna like this video. One, two, three, I don't remember if it's four. I'm gonna do three. We have the uh, Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. This is the newest pack we have from the old school. It's 2007. Crystal Promise, the Volcanic Scattershot. Crystal Abundance, Hard Selling Goblin. We got the zombie in here somewhere. We recently did a box break of this live, so go check that out. We should also have a potentially Enemy of Justice box live right now if it hasn't sold out, so go check that out on ruxa34.com. Crystal Beacon. We have Volcanic Shell. That's just a rare, wait. Do you get a, do you get a foil as well? No, no you don't. Okay, Volcanic Shell. All right, just a rare, unfortunately. Okay, time to switch it up with a Spell Ruler pack. Let's not do Dark Crisis this time. Spell Ruler, we've already opened Magic Ruler. Now we have Spell Ruler. Let's see what we can pull. We have Jirak Spinos, very nice, in Arsenal 3. Gen X Recycle, that's a couple of foils right there, but not great foils in terms of what you're actually looking for. Metal Morph, roll out. We got rare Metal Morph. Wait, whoa, Sardak Yugi, Guy of the Fierce Knight. That's a 2004 card, so almost 20 year old card right there. It's just a common though, so probably not really worth anything. All right, Spell Ruler, can you bless us with the blue eyes tune dragon let's go one two three four you gotta believe will it have the tune dragon we will have the igaboon eating a rat very nice penguin knight eternal rest with dark maul darth maul not dark maul performance of the sword whiptail crow the reliable guardian guarding the throne room hero shadow scout will it be the blue eyes tune dragon relinquish something like that let's go Upstart Goblin, a good common, but not a foil, unfortunately. So this one could be a dollar, could be worth something for our value. You'll have to see, you know, when it pops up on the screen already, it's already happened. Okay, let's just move on. All right, it is time for a Legacy of Darkness Unlimited pack. Inside, we could pull either Yada or Injected Fairy Lily. It's one of the two. I don't know if it's retail or hobby, but I would take either one of those gladly. I would be very happy. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we can pull them now. The Wing Beat a Giant Dragon. The dra Oh, another dragon. The Manipulator. Life Absorbing Machine. The Another Manipulator. Okay, he's manipulating this pack. Troop Dragon. There's dragons everywhere. We got the Feng Shing Mirror. Patrician of Darkness. A Faint Plan. It's, it's faint, but it's there. And an array of revealing light. So the faint plan, revealing light, not working out so well for that pack. Back to our good friend, the Dark Crisis pack. Will there be something big inside? Oh, we've got a proxy dragon. I always used to think this was worth something when I was going through my bulk and then I'd look and it was worth like 50 cents. And I was like, never mind, not worth anything. Chino Bird. Destiny and Dragoon is a common. Shining Angel, that's an old school card. All right, so nothing crazy there. Onto the Dark Crisis. So far, we've pulled one foil out of all these reprint packs and it was a Super Air Medora. So it wasn't that insane. We're really looking for a little bit better than that. If we could possibly do that, we have a Fairy of the Spring. Final countdown. We got Cyber Raider. Desert Archfiend, the Assessors of Dagala, Iron Black Space Gotetsu, Pandemonium Watchbear, Book of Blake, and Fan Bore Blalalao, and a Dark Master Zork. We have another foil. It's just a super, but this is probably a fan favorite, I would say, from Dark Crisis. A pretty nice, very like scary looking artwork. I mean, he reminds me of like an old school anime. That is very cool. It's a nice pull. I don't know if it's a dollar, it's probably not, but still really nice. 
All right, back to the old, old school. We have Magic Ruler, Magic Ruler. Here we go. So we have Tyhone, Numero Dos, The Electric Snack, Minar, Jiggin, Bakadun, he's a bomb. Mystic Plasma Zone, that is an electric light bolt, lightning bolt, there we go, light bolt. Whiptail Crow, Performance of Sword. Giant Turtle, who feeds on flames, very beautiful. And a, ooh, an Invader of the Throne. There we go, it's another hollow. Is that our first old school hollow though? No, wait, we got one other, right? Yeah, Cyber Ogre 2 from Cyber Dark Impact. Our first one from Magic Ruler. Invader of the Throne, very cool super rare, looks pretty. Okay, not bad, okay. Dark Crisis, let's see what you can do. After this, we will have another non-Dark Crisis pack. We have a lot of Dark Crisis remaining, so we are opening a few of those. We have a couple of foils there, nothing crazy. Any of the Hollows, Benton was good for a while. We've got, uh, oh, Magic Spectre, Crow, Yada, and the Skull Knight from Metal Raiders. That's a reprint version, but still, that's pretty cool to see the Skull Knight from Metal Raiders. Very amazing artwork on that one. Dark Crisis time. Let's see what you can do. One, two, three, four. No Skill Drain yet. No Sukiyomi in the rare slots. We've got Shinado's Arc, Arshvin's Oath. Shooting Star Bow Seal, they're really Eternal Rest. No Darth Maul on that one. We got the Morale Boost, Incandescent Ordeal, Final Attack Orders, pretty annoying card. Legendary Flame Lord always makes you think it's something good because it's a ritual, but it's not. And finally, we have a Despair from the Dark. I'm despairing because of no hollow. Okay, back to the original OG Magic Ruler. Will there be a Blue Eyes Tune Dragon pulled in this video? I'm hoping so, guys. I don't know about you, but this could be amazing. One, two, three, four. It's been a long time since we've pulled one, even out of a reprint pack, so it'd be great. Darkness Approaches, we got Koto Dama. I mean, we do have the OG stuff coming up, you know, the reprints coming out in April, which by the time you see this, it's almost April, We're like a month away. It's really exciting. October, sir. We got the Hungry Burger support coming soon. So this might actually be worth something. I'm going to pull it out. I know the first day was like seven bucks. Dark Witch, we got Curse of Fiend, Crab Turtle, Snake Fang. Is it the next card? Will it be a Blue Eyes Toon Dragon? We have a Hero Shadow Scout. That is not a Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. I was letting you guys know. Not sure if you've seen one before, but certainly not that guy. All right, Pharaoh's Servant Time. Will we pull the Jinzo? First, let's see if we get a Ghost Rare out of these real quick. No Ghost Rare at the front. Not a good start. We got the Lila. Okay, a couple of super rares. Nothing too crazy. b Soldier, Ivy Shackles, Trap Eater. Yeah, a lot of Raging Battle cards in Crim or Crimson Crisis, I should say. Maybe I thought this was Raging Battle for some reason. Crimson Crisis. Got him confused, but they're both old school. I mean, they're 5Ds, but now that's kind of old school at this point. All right, Pharaoh Servant, do you feel old yet that 5Ds is old school? Let me know in the comments. One, two, three, four. Here we go, Pharaoh Servant. Will we pull a Vigenzo? We have Bubonic Vermin, Regulation of the Tribe, Giant Soldier, the DNA Surgery, Spike Bot. Light of Intervention, Burning Land, Hayabusa Knight, and finally, will it be a foil and will it be a Genzo? Let's go. Thousand Eyes Idol. I think this actually might be worth a dollar, ironically, <laughs> but I don't think it's a foil. That, well, I know it's not a foil, actually, looking at it. Certainly not. It's a common. All right. It's time for Power of the Duelist. This is a first edition pack. So inside, you could pull some pretty amazing ultimate rares. So looking for that Chimera Tech uh, over Dragon ultimate rare that I have not pulled for myself. We did pull it one time on a whatnot stream. That was it. One, two, three, four. Let's go. We have Common Soul, Royal Writ of Taxation, Saber Source, Alien Skull, Crystal's Dolphin, the Black Terra, Flying Saucer. We have the Paths of Destiny. And finally, will it be an ultimate rare? Here we go. Alien Warrior. That's a rare. It does come in ultimate, but not here. So um, unfortunate, but still a nice card. All right, back to our Dark Crisis friends. Will we pull something epic out of this pack. It's been uh, kind of a slower opening. We've had a couple of good pulls, but nothing like crazy yet. A couple of supers there. And then uh, anything interesting in the commons? Not seeing too much Cyber Dragon. I mean, it's interesting. It's not really valuable, but pretty cool. All right, Dark Crisis. Here we go. What will we pull? One, two, three, four. Will it be Skill Drain? Will it be Sukiyomi in the rare slot? And then an Exodia Necros? We'll have to find out right now. Maybe a Vampire Lord Secret Rare would be nice. We got Grawr, we got Air Chanel Summoner, we got the Frozen Soul, we got the Acrobat Monkey, the, okay, not a good rare again. And we have a Pandemonium, it's Pandemonium, where are the foils? All right, unfortunately, the Pandemonium is continuing. I think we've pulled all supers so far for actual foils, so we're looking for something above a super to end this thing off. Wow, these cards are a little banged up. Check that out. Wow, that, that back card took a beating. One, two, three, four. Hopefully the middle card is safe, the rare. Ryu ran the egg. This is always a classic for me. I just remember being like, wow, that's a cool looking card. You know, egg dragon, reliable guardian. We have, I mean, is he technically a dragon? He is. Spear Cretan, the weather report. Peacock, very, very cool name, original. We have the wall shadow, stone ogre grotto, Gaia power. And finally, will it be the toon dragon? Let's go. 
Ooh, but it is a foil. It's not the Dune Dragon, but it is Banisher of the Light. Another foil to go along with, uh, you know, our super rare brigade that we've had so far today. Three packs left on each side. Here we go into Pharaoh's Servant. Will there be a Jinzo inside? So first we have a Rainbow Dark Dragon. Then we have a Pyrex, the Elemental Lord. That's a ultra rare. Very cool. So we have Samurai, Necro, and Wonder Balloons. Nothing too crazy there. Now we have our Pharaoh's Servant pack. What will we get? One, two, three, four. Will it be Thousand Eyes, Genzo, Buster Blader? Something amazing like that. We have a Spike Bot. Let's get an Ultra Rare or above. Armor Glass, Flying Kamikiri, Numero Dose, Four Star Lady Ladybug of Doom, Insect Imitation, DNA Surgery, Red Moon Baby. And here we go. You got to believe in something big. Sword Hunter. I mean, it's pretty big. 2450 attack. Not bad, but he is not a foil, unfortunately. So ah, I got to keep hoping for that ultra rare plus. All right. Magic Ruler again. We've had a lot of Magic Ruler today. It's been only super rares and rares so far. Let's see if we can get a secret or an ultra. One, two, three, four. Spear Creedon. Weather Report. The Upstar Goblin original print. That's probably worth a, like a round of dollar. We've got Ceremonial Bell. Ancient One of the Deep Forest. Fire Kraken. The Dark Witch. Crab Turtle. And finally, what do we have? It is Shining Angel. Just the angel. He's shining all around, but he's not a foil. So he's really not shining at all, actually. All right, two packs left, one Dark Crisis, and then we have a Metal Raiders pack to it off for the reprints. Let's see what we can get out of here. I can't get through this pack. We have a wind up. Oh, whoa. Okay, that might be worth something. The Zen Maester and then the Ryza. Dude, if we had pulled this one, this was a $70 card. It's like 40 cents now, but it didn't. It got a reprint from Ghost of the Past. But before that, this card got up to 70 bucks for the Duelist Alliance print. So this was probably like a $50 card from uh, Mega Pack 15. Wow, that's insane. That would have been worth a lot. All right, Dark Crisis, this is your time. You've been a little lackluster so far, but this last pack can save everything right here. You got to believe. We have a Gaga Gigo. Fairy of the Spring, Spell Reproduction, Battle Scarred. We got the Acrobat Monkey, DD Trainer, Dark Scorpion Chick the Yellow, Mephith the Infernal General. La, la, la. Man, I really messed that one up. And we have. Oh, a secret rare Vampire Lord in the final Dark Crisis pack. That is the way to end those Dark Crisis packs. Really didn't have anything great. We finally hit that above super rare pull. Vampire Lord, I think as a reprint, it's not worth a ton, but still a really cool nostalgic card. It's actually pretty strong back in the day. Whew, nice pull, finally. All right, two old school packs left. Can they match that with a secret rare of their own? Legacy of Darkness. This would be a huge one to match with. Yada, Injection Fairy. Lily, you guys, you know, one of you guys, one, two, three, four, would be an epic pull. We have Robotic Knight. He's robotic. He's a knight. Double snare. We got the Soul Demolition, Convulsion of Nature, the Spring of Rebirth, Maharagi, short print, Throw Stone Unit. We have, is this the next one? It may be the foil. It's not. It's the next one. Super Robo Yaru and. Ooh, Fusion Sword Murasame Blade. Just a rare, no big deal because we have two packs left and they're both going to be epic. All right, Metal Raiders, here it is. We, we got a Vampire Lord last time. Let's see if you can add on to that. Let's get a Gate Guardian. Oh, uh, hello? Where's our, where's our, where's our, our foils? Hello? Hello, no foils? Extra cards, we got gypped? There's only eight cards in here. No, not our extra foils. All right, so that's unfortunate, but maybe that means there's extra foils in here. It's gonna be three foils in this pack. Metal Raiders, let's go. It doesn't mean that, but maybe it does. Who knows? One, two, three, four. Will it be Gay Guardian, Summon Skull, Solemn Judgment, B Skull Dragon, you know, any of that. Skull Might, uh, we saw that guy earlier. We got the Insect, we got the Jellyfish, Wall Battle Guard, Canyon Moth, maybe? Sagi, the Dark Clown, Angel Lizard Warrior, Empress Judge, the Magician of Faith, a great rare. Whew, next card will be potentially a foil. Here we go. Oh, a secret rare Thousand Dragon! Whoa! two reprints both had secret rares inside no way the reprint side is coming on strong to try and win this one thousand dragon vampire lord i know they're not crazy valuable in reprint but two secret rare pulls that's pretty amazing all right old school you might be in trouble now we have a magic ruler pack i don't know who's gonna win this one at this point might need to pull the blue eyes tune dragon we pulled two secret rares out of our last three packs so let's see if we can go three for four here and pull a blue eyes tune dragon <sighs> one two three four final pack of the opening if you guys have enjoyed it make sure to subscribe the channel for more content.
content like this. Here we go. Twin Long Rods, we've got Mechanical Snail, Chorus of Sanctuary, the Guardian of the Throne Room, Pen per, not Pendulum, no Pendulums yet, guys, no Pendulums. Giant Turtle Who Feeds on Flames, we've got the Magical Labyrinth, Dark Zebra. Final card right here, will it be the Blue Eyes Tune Dragon? Let me know in the comments. Here we go. Oh, Mystic Tomato! And yeah, there it is. Here's the final score of the battle. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Michael James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Anna Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.